More local coverage now. More than a thousand people hit the pavement in Bristol, Narragansett, and Providence today for the annual Walk MS. Eyewitness News reporter Katherine Sotnik caught up with several walkers today who are fighting the disease. And she has their stories from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Hundreds of walkers cross the MS Walk finish line in Providence Sunday, all walking for someone special. My mom, uh, Barbara Schwartzberg, who passed away in, de in December. A doctor told you you'd never walk again. Absolutely. And if I did, it would be with a walking device. But Tara Costa is walking again, the whole three-mile route. She admits her time with MS hasn't been easy. 2009, um, I had a couple of bouts of going into the hospital. In 2010, I was paralyzed from the waist down. Um, I was in the hospital for eight weeks. Wasn't supposed to walk again. Um, but for my boys, I fought, and I'm walking now. And we're told the money raised will go towards local families and support national research. We expect to raise hopefully $300,000. And what's great about the walk is everyone participates. We have a lot of people with MS and their families and their dogs and their pets. Families like Tina and Dan Contoy, who are walking for their 26-year-old son, Thomas. Life completely stopped. He, he lost feeling in his entire body. So, yeah, so I'm so grateful that people came out today and, and are making a difference. And in the U.S. alone, 400,000 people are living with MS. We could tell you that an additional 200 people are diagnosed each week. I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.